In the midst of an election season that has Democrats and the White House on edge, Tuesday's primaries finally gave the Obama administration a boost they were looking for. In Colorado, Senator Michael Bennett won a fiercely contested Democratic primary over Andrew Romanoff. For the White House, this wasn't just a race between two candidates, it was a test of the president's influence. Obama has been a vocal supporter of Bennett, who was appointed to his seat last year, while Romanoff had the backing of former President Bill Clinton. I think yesterday's vote in Colorado um, was a pretty good example of the type of coalition that the president put together in 2008 and that the president helped uh, through his endorsements and appearances. Equally notable for Democrats and the administration, the results of recent Republican primaries, including Tuesday's GOP Senate race in Connecticut, which former World Wrestling CEO Linda McMahon easily won. Democrat C. McMahon and prior Republican primary winners like Nevada's Sharon Engel and Kentucky's Rand Paul as candidates they can beat. We're seeing candidates that have more extreme views, that lack political experience, that don't have demonstrated fundraising power, and all those things should make it easier for Democrats to win some of those Senate races. Of course, the recent results haven't been a complete change in fortune for the White House, where officials know the president and his agenda could still be a drag on Democrats. For proof of that, look no further than the Obama-endorsed Bennett, who said the morning after his primary win that he's not sure how big a role the president will play in his fall campaign. While there are still questions about where and how the president will be used during the campaign season, there is no question that Democrats see him as an asset on the fundraising circuit. Obama has headlined about a dozen fundraisers in the past two and a half weeks, and next week he'll set out on a three-day fundraising tour before he heads for his summer vacation. Julie Pace, The Associated Press, The White House.